Business education has come of age in China. It used to be that Chinese students went overseas to get their MBA. Now, increasing numbers of international students are coming to China to study at Chinese business schools. The whole axis of business, the paradigm shift, is um, rotating east. So with big companies um, like Huawei or Tencent or Lenovo or Alibaba, all these companies arising now in China and having a global reach. So if you come to China um, for business, then you, you sort of become like a pioneer. Um, your differentiator is that you have that access to the West. Russia is growing economy. It's not developed market yet. So the knowledge and the experience that I get from U.S. business school will be uh, more relevant to um, developed markets. But if I, get ex if I get my MBA from Chinese business school, it will be experience that is relevant to, uh, experience and knowledge that will be relevant to uh, developing markets. Fudan University launched its first business course 100 years ago in 1917. It now offers four professional master's degrees and has partnerships and exchanges with more than 98 other universities in 30 countries. China is growing so fast, you know, we are the number two yeah, global, globally uh, in terms of the uh, economic size and also uh, especially European students believe uh, Europe and China will have much more opportunities for the business. Uh, for their career. They believe they can learn the same quality, knowledge, and uh, have a very different experience, you know, uh, studying in Shanghai and uh, living in Shanghai. If someone in 2009 told me, have a look, go to China to have a look for a couple of weeks. The couple of weeks become eight years. <laughs> Siebes, whose campus was established here in Shanghai just over 20 years ago, was the first business school in China to get the International Equus accreditation. Now, there are more than 20 Chinese business schools with a global seal of approval and another 25 in the process of getting one. If they want to come, for, if they want to, come to China, I think we're their best choice. So uh, that's it. They come to SIPS. It's the best school in China. They will come to us. The question is, why will they come to China, though? Most of these people either are doing business with Chinese or they would like to. China is a very dynamic uh, environment. There is uh, a lot of uh, knowledge, business practices, so I think uh, coming to China, you can really feel uh, immediately what you, and test immediately what you learn and see in the business environment. But other factors about living and working in China, such as the pollution, the language and cultural differences, can be off-putting to many potential students. Why people come to China? They want to learn something new. Sometimes I see people uh, psychologically feel, oh, whether I can understand them, this, uh, uh, whether I can understand the language, whether it's suitable for me, so many things. But if you don't try, you never get this good experience. Chinese government quotas for the proportion of Chinese nationals able to attend particular MBA courses at schools like XJTLU here is putting pressure on Chinese business schools to increase their overseas student intake. The challenge for Chinese business schools is to appeal to those students from overseas not already invested in the Chinese economic growth story. Jonathan Moles, Financial Times, China.